Yeah, my name is Hoyne. I'm a consultant psychiatrist, professor of psychiatry, and uh, I'm editor of Global Psychiatry Archives. And today I'd like to talk about a paper which is quite interesting because it shows the effect of mental health literacy and knowledge about mental health on depression and PTSD in internally displaced persons in northern Nigeria. So the idea was that uh, people would check whether mental health liter literacy, which is knowledge about uh, how to deal with uh, mental health problems, how to recognize to mental health problems, and how to get help um, might affect the appearance of depression and PTSD. And this is in a very specific example of internally displaced persons in northern Nigeria. So the uh, questionnaires were in Hausa language and was a questionnaire which is about mental health literacy. Then the patient health questionnaire, which is about mental health and depression, the uh, short post-traumatic stress disorder rating, splint, and uh, statistics was used as a common. Uh, in total, there were 637 respondents, um, young people, between the age of 10 and 24, and uh, more, many were male. Um, many people had poor, and uh, some 27.6% uh, had good mental health literacy. That means an understanding of mental health problems. Okay, and um, the most important part, and I come back to this in detail, that people who are between 15 and 19 had better mental health literacy and comp as compared to those who were younger or older. And there were lots of people having depression, uh, nearly 50%, 20% had PTSD. And there were pl lots of people who had both. 16% had a comorbidity of depression and PTSD, which is over the odds or the odds of random. So let's say it that way, if you're depressed, you're more likely to have PTSD and vice versa. Um, so, and if people are depressed, they're more likely to have PTSD, but also if people have uh, a better mental health literacy, they're less likely to have depression. So just going to the details, um, I hope we're getting working here. So that's a group, oops. So 700 internally displaced person in Northern Nigeria, um, 306, uh, 637 was complete data, which were analyzed. Okay, so trying to go down. And uh, so here are the, uh, the frequencies of age distribution, 10 to 14, 35%, uh, and 20 to 24, 46%, uh, and then 20% in the middle, more males and females. Um, Lots of, you know, depending on the age, lots of students unemployed and only 20 people were employed in these uh, camps. People with poor or poor, uh, no ed education or some primary schooling, depending on age. Depending on the age, again, uh, unlikely people are married. Um, lots of Christians and Muslims and uh, many, very many poor people. So mental health literacy was good in only 27.6%. Uh, and, whoops. So what you see here that the mental health literacy was best in this uh, group of um, 15 to 19 year olds, but the employment or occupation and had no influence on the mental health literacy. So going down a bit, oops, it's a disaster huh, today. I'm trying to get page five. And uh, so what you can see here is that uh, lots of people with having depression, 54%, and many people had quite moderate to severe, but most of them had mild depression. Okay, so PTSD, Again, lots of uh, PTSD in the whole sample and the severity of the PTSD, mild to moderate in most of them. Okay, and we have some disaster. 
So we have people who have um, good, or let's say, good mental health literacy seems to be associated with a lower risk of depression, and the same applies for the for the PTSD. Predictors of depression were um, were more or less non significant, so more or less. It seemed that you know more of these. Uh, there's not much relevance except uh, of occupation influencing depression. So it's more or less that uh, the knowledge about depression seems to be the one and most important predictor. Okay, so some of these um, predictor of depression symptoms again, um, nothing big sign significant. And uh, the burden of uh, comorbidity is increased. That's what's shown in this uh, table. So there's a higher likelihood of having um, depression and a double burden, let's say depression and PTSD together. So that's quite frequent. Okay, so the predictors of a double burden of depression is not the age in this circumstances. Right. Um, I'm sorry a bit for the confusion, but um, the uh, tables, sometimes the computers uh, don't always walk as, work as you want them to work and uh, hope at least uh, some people have some interest and maybe uh, messing it up over here a bit uh, makes you more interest in reading the real paper on our website, globalpsychiatry.co.uk. And if you're interested to learn a little bit more about mental health, and uh, scientific approach to mental health, please uh, register to our website, Global Psychiatry Archives, either for the journal or for this YouTube channel. Thanks for your interest and I hope this works well for you. Thanks a lot.